Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are continuing our investigation into the Asian La Habrea. We still have not been able to track him down and our luck here is running a little bit thin. But we did find a lead to a place I believe was called Little Alamigo. So Hihibaru, do you have any information on this Little Alamigo? Also before we do get started, I do want to point out my money is far far lower today i finally was able to find a newbie who is still early in the game who would actually take the money uh, a lot of people just immediately say no to random trade requests and i don't have a keyboard so yeah um I finally was able to find a newbie who was going through the ifrit arc specifically and handed off the million to them because i did not want to hold on to that i wasn't going to use it i'm not going to use it I'm making my money from leave quests and from crafting and gathering. I'm going to be fine on money. So it, was, it felt good to pass that off to someone else. And literally, today is Christmas. And yesterday was Christmas Eve, so it was a Christmas present. Well, as of recording it, that this is, that is, this is going up in like February, so. Haha, <laughs> dating the video. Anyways, let's get started with Hihibaru. Hihibaru has a suggestion to help you with your investigation. The Alamegan bandit you had a run in with is somehow connected to your masked man of mystery. So it stands to reason that if you want to pick up the trail again, you should head toward Little Alamigo over in southern Thanalan. Just so you know what to expect, the settlement is a favorite destination for those refugees who couldn't, well, adapt to life in Old Da. The heart of the denizens are said to be as barren as the wasteland they live in, and for all intents and purposes, it's a lawless place. Be prepared for a not-so-warm welcome. Now, I'm not certain how much a help she'll be, but it just so happens I have a daughter who has uh, relocated to a little Alamigo. Her name is Hihira, and it, wouldn't, it shouldn't hurt to seek her out first. And while you have your attention, I'd be obliged if you could send my love. Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. I suppose this is it then. I had hoped you would linger here a while, call some fiends, spend some coin, what have you, but something tells me you're just destined for greater things. Where it is, wherever it is you end up, I wish you the best. Well, thank you, Hihibaru. This is unusually kind of you. Though, given how Uldans tend to be, I'm going to make the assumption offhand that Little Alamigo is better than he's making it out to be. Uh, given we have seen that Ulda is not very kind to refugees and impoverished folk. Uh, Alamigo, I believe it has made mention, but just to go over it again, since it is becoming more relevant to the main story now, Alamigo is an area in the northeast of Eorzea. If we pull up, like, the full map of Eorzea, we're down here in Thanalin, and Alamigo is up in the Girabanya region, up northeast of the Black Shroud. They were taken over by the Garleans oh, like a decade, decade and a half prior, I believe. Uh, and they've not been doing so well. A lot of refugees fled to Eorzea and took up settlements specifically in the Thanalan region. Which is why Ulda has such an overflow of refugees and apparently, despite their wealth, are not very willing to help. Anyway, Southern Thanalan, we have been there a few times in Class Quest episodes, but this is our first time in the main story. The main path to get there is to go south from Camp Drybone. It is just to the southeast, past Halatali. There is a second and a little bit easier way to get here, rather than going to Camp Drybone. Um, coming from the eastern exit of Old Da, just head southeast all like 100 meters, and you're in Southern Thanalan. And our destination is going to be Little Alamigo in this giant rock structure right in the middle of this northern plain. Alright, let's get on up there, away from these sandskin Pisces, and go see if we can make acquaintance with people here and pick up our investigation. Alright, looks like we got Brass Blades actually acting as defense for the area, which is surprisingly kind of Ulda to send Brass Blades out here. But yeah, welcome to Little Alamigo. Just a bunch of folk living in a cave. It is... better than nothing? It's not great. 
All right, while we're here, we do have an etherite we need to access. And we're going to actually be stationed up here for a while, so I think I'm gonna set this as my home point. And we have plenty of etherite tickets back to uh, Vesper Bay, so I think it'll be fine to change our home point here. We have a chocobo keep. Well met, traveler. All right, let's get you on our list so we can chocobo here when we want, though we're usually taking mounts, so eh. Uh, there's a merchant amender up there and a leave meat over here. We will talk to the leave meat probably in a side quest episode coming up in the nearish future. All right, let's head on over here and find, uh, see if we can find Hihira. There you are, Hihira. I was sent by your father. Hmm? Why, yes, Hihibaru is my father. He said what? <sighs> I wish I could be a better daughter to him. It's just that... Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with family matters, but I am grateful to you for delivering the message. Now then, what brings you here? A mass man? I'm afraid the description doesn't ring any bells, but one of the others here may have seen something. I would recommend you first speak with Gundabald, though, the leader of the settlement. I must warn you, though, he isn't exactly accommodating to outsiders. I mean, refugees, down on their luck. I wouldn't blame them for being a little bit suspicious of outsiders. Gotta protect themselves. Hello, Gundabald. Who are you? State your business and be quick about it. I'm here looking for a masked man who's been causing trouble. Looking for a masked ma villain, you say. And why should we help you, pray? We struggle enough without having to answer the whim of every outsider. You are not welcome here. Be gone. Well, that went well. But I can't say I necessarily blame him. Like he said, they are refugees struggling out in a cave because they're not welcome in the city. Just because despite Uldah's wealth, they're not willing to help much. I can't blame him for not being welcoming. So then, next time on Final Fantasy XIV, uh, we will speak to the Flame Commander to continue our investigation soon, but next time we need to do some more crafting. Specifically, our next crafting quest is going to be level 25 armor. Yes, I know I've been updating my materia, calm down. Anyways, next time on Final Fantasy XIV, back in Limsa Lominsa to take on armor level 25. I'll see everyone next time for that.